Using a swoosh transition in your videos is an amazing way to go from one idea to the next. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do this, including adding sound effects, visual effects, and even tips to keep in mind while you film that can help you have a smooth process. You can do this in a lot of different editors, but I use Kapwing because it's completely online so I don't have to host all the files and clutter up my computer, and I can access it from anywhere. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is upload your footage. To do this, go ahead and click on the link down here in the bio. Once you're here, click get started and use your email to sign in or sign up and click create new project. If you're on your computer, you can drag your video file from your desktop or you can upload straight from a URL link or just start with a blank canvas. But I'm gonna assume you already have your footage so we're gonna upload directly. Once you've done that, you will see a page with everything laid out in your timeline. Now that your footage is in, we're going to start to create this effect by using the wipe transition. To find the wipe transition, simply go to the sidebar on the left-hand side and click the transitions button. From here, go to the search bar and type wipe. You'll see several options for wipes. I personally recommend wipe left or wipe right. I find them to get the job done most effectively without becoming distracting. Once you've chosen a direction, go ahead and click and drag that square to between two clips. Once you've done that, you will see your transition automatically applied. You can adjust the speed of the transition by clicking the sideways hourglass on either of the clips, and towards the right, you will see the buttons that say slow, default, or fast. I personally like fast for a swoosh transition, but play around with it and see what works best for you. All right, you've got your wipe transition in, and now it is time to add the swoosh sound effect. To find the swoosh sound effect, go to the audio tab on the left side of the studio editor, from there, click sound effects and type swoosh in the search bar. You'll see an audio clip that says swoosh transition made just for this type of transition. When you click it, it will be pasted under your video clips. Simply click and drag it to adjust it so the sound plays at the same time as your wipe transition. And voila, you have successfully done a swoosh transition. But one more tip, you can make this even smoother by swiping across the screen as you film like this. Simply apply the same process and line up your swoosh transition with your hand movement, and you can do it in any way you want. As a reminder to export your video, click the green export project button in the right hand corner. You can play around with settings here, then click export again, and you will be taken to a screen where your video processes. Once that's done, click download file and your video will be downloaded straight to your device. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like and let us know in the comments down below if you have any thoughts or questions or videos you want us to make in the future. Please make sure you are subscribed. We put out videos every week on how to level up your storytelling by creating amazing videos. Thank you so much for watching and happy editing.